All right, we'd like to thank everybody for tuning in today. We're coming with you for another Ancestry DNA video. And, and, and this particular video is actually featuring my wife, Kim, and her distant cousin, Melanie. Now there's a spin to this because Melanie, her father is actually from Ghana, the West African country of Ghana. Both of her parents, excuse me, both of her father's parents are from Ghana and her mother's side of the family is from Jamaica. Now this is the catch of this whole ordeal here. Melanie's mother has taken the test, but my, my, my wife does not match her mother. So because my wife does not match her mother, she's a paternal match. Secondly, both of my wife's parents have taken the test, okay? And Melanie is a direct match with my mother-in-law, of course, my wife's mother. So here we have it. We actually have uh, two cousins here, distant cousins that are connected, that were disconnected from the transatlantic slave trade, and they're now back connected. We're live here in London, happy to be here. So I want to take some time and actually ask them some questions. Uh, and I, I'll, I'll trade now and I'll record, okay? All right. So this is Luca here. Luca just spoke. Again, we've got Melanie, my wife's cousin. This is Melanie. And we also have Luciana. Say hello, Luciana. Hello. Yeah. So, so Melanie, we're going to start with you. Um, first of all, we're so grateful that, that you actually decided to take the DNA testing. And so many people that have a direct lineage to the motherland of Africa, they don't want to take the test because they feel like I already know my roots. So can, can you kind of tell uh, everyone watching why you decided to even take that uh, leap to, to test with the DNA testing? Yeah, sure. So from my perspective, the reason why I actually took the test um, was because my mum was very much aware of um, her dad's, well, she was she was born and raised in Jamaica. Yes. Um, aware of her Jamaican roots. Um, however, for her dad's family, she wasn't so familiar with them. She didn't get to meet them at all. So um, it was my way of getting, helping her really to connect with her family mm. and her family go by the surname of Bowden. Yes. Um, so yes, so, so that's the main reason why I took it. So not so much thinking of myself. Yeah. Um, and yes, so, so it's been quite a great, great experience and linking and guessing um, links with family who from, from my dad's side actually, which wasn't the purpose of me actually doing the, the DNA test. Th this is awesome, Melanie. And, and now, now your father, we understand that both sides of his family are from the ethnic group of the Ashante. Yes, Ashante Ashantis, people, right? Yeah. Okay. And, and this is the town of Adrisu. Adrisu. Yeah. And th this is very interesting because my wife and I were actually in Adrisu ten months ago, mm -hmm. and we met the uh, the actual chief out there, not knowing that my wife had a direct connection mm -hmm. uh, to this particular uh, village, this town yeah. in the Kumasi region. So yeah. uh, they're just shock on top of shock. Now, I, I want to go over to Luca. Luca. Okay, now Luca, we, we understand that a couple of years ago uh, that mom and daddy took you to Ghana. Of course, you were born and raised here in London, uh, but, but they took you to Ghana. So kind of tell everybody how you felt about West Africa and Ghana. Well, was it a positive experience for you? Well, it was quite an interesting experience because I saw loads of things that I hadn't seen before. And I, and I saw um, some kind of different places and i got used to the spicy food and also i had more confidence of eating new th new foods and having new experiences so i felt quite um interested to learn more so let's talk about these spicy foods i understand that you had quite an experience with the ghanaian jollof rice yeah. uh, tell us about that jollof rice a lot of people out there love that jollof rice I like it because the taste is quite spicy. It's a bit more rich because I eat it all of most of the time I go there. Yes. And mm. and the spice gives it a, a really good taste. Yes. Yeah. And how are the people in Ghana as well? Pardon? How are the people in Ghana? You know, just like when you went there, the people that you spoke to and that you met. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How, how are the people in Ghana? Oh, quite friendly. Very Taught friendly. me some words, yeah. and yeah. I studied a bit of numbers and yeah. words, basic yeah. words. And what did you also think of them? Um, what are the other things that you saw um, about the young children? Did you think anything? Did you see anything that stuck out? That, that stuck out to you? Oh, because the children they learnt, they knew a lot more more than me, and the people there they were a lot strict. So the children learned, discipline. yeah, yeah, really disciplined. Wow. So they learned quick. They 
they knew all their times tables and you also saw some of the children um at very young age working as well didn't oh they? yeah working they were working their um own store market yeah yeah that, that, that's fantastic. We, we appreciate all that feedback, Luke, and we, we're glad you had a positive experience. So again, you all, we're live here in London. I mean, we, we have a, a, a four family members here. They're all our distant cousins. We've got Melanie, my beautiful wife, Kim over there, and her two precious kids. Melanie actually has a third child too, but she wasn't able to make it here today. But I mean, this is such beautiful footage, you all, of distant cousins. Uh, for all the DNA junkies out there, they, they match at around eight city Morgans. So we're looking at about six generations of separation uh, from the transatlantic slave trade. Another family is back united by the power of DNA testing. And hey, thank you all for joining us. We're out.